This is the physiology of organophosphate poisoning and treatment. Let's start with poisoning. Organophosphates are molecules that irreversibly bind to and phosphorylate acetylcholinesterase enzymes at their serine hydroxyl group. Remember that acetylcholinesterase enzymes break down acetylcholine, which is this molecule, into choline and acetate. Acetylcholinesterase enzymes do this to limit the amount of acetylcholine that you have in the synapses. So when organophosphate irreversibly binds to this acetylcholine esterase enzyme, you end up with preventing it from doing its job of breaking down acetylcholine, and you have an accumulation of acetylcholine at the synapses. This affects both muscarinic and nicotinic receptors. The muscarinic receptors are in the smooth muscle glands and end organs, whereas the nicotinic receptors are in the, smooth, are in the skeletal muscle and the autonomic ganglia. Having too much acetylcholine causes a cholinergic crisis, which can have widespread effects. The treatment is first atropine. Atropine should be given first. Atropine is a competitive blocker of muscarinic acetylcholine receptors. So these receptors that are at the muscarinic side affecting smooth muscle glands and end organs. This counteracts the cholinergic crisis. So although this is blocked and you have a ton of acetylcholine now, you also give atropine to block the receptors so that the acetylcholine doesn't exert its cholinergic effect. This does not affect nicotinic receptors, however, so you still might have nicotinic symptoms. That's where prilidoxine comes in, 2 PAM. The mechanism here is that it cleaves the phosphoryl group from acetylcholinesterase's active site. This regenerates and reactivates the enzyme, but this must be given after atropine because it can temporarily worsen symptoms. So give atropine first and then 2 PAM. For nicotinic symptoms that the atropine doesn't help, the 2 PAM will start to resolve. There are some other medicines that you can consider. Benzodiazepines like lorazepam might be given as secondary treatment to prevent seizures. Benzos enhance your GABA activity, so if you have seizures, you can give those to prevent that. Peridostigmine should only be used as prophylaxis before a known exposure to organophosphates. Peridostigmines also block the acetylcholine esterase enzyme, but they do so temporarily. So the idea is that if you have peridostigmine on board, you can kind of protect acetylcholine esterase enzymes before your exposure to organophosphates. You cannot use peridostigmine after an exposure that would worsen symptoms.